Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we're playing with the Communion of France in the Kaiser Reich mod. Alright, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So, I think we are going to join the War with the Entente, but there's a few things I want to do first. First of all, I want to combine the Navy, figure out what exactly we're working with when it comes to our ships. Uh, and, of course, we have some issues getting through here. Um, uh, you know, we'd have to fight their Navy. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that first before we declare war. Uh, and we'll also get a few other things prepared as well. Like, for instance, we're going to have these guys. They can cover uh, the southern provinces so we don't have to worry about them being invaded. Uh, we'll give them a garrison order and we'll have them just protect uh, the um, the ports. Uh, that's it. And we need to protect uh, the coastline. Yeah, that'll work. I'll just have them protect the ports and just sign them all throughout this region here. Uh, and they can protect all of our ports, and they only need three divisions, and they have a total of 12. That means we should be able to get four divisions per port, and that means they should, should be able to do it. We'll just see here. Let's see if we can't get a good defensive general here uh, who might be able to accomplish this for us. We'll kind of see if there's anybody who might give a fortification bonus as well, though I'm not really seeing it. Um, yeah, not seeing anybody with a fortification bonus, unfortunately. How these guys kind of suck at defense, honestly. Yeah, we don't have anybody who's very defensive. Uh, minded really so it doesn't matter who we give obviously we probably want to give a level one guy because yeah let's give Marcel Bucard he's got defense <laughs> we'll give them Mar Marcel Bucard uh, he can he can make it happen so they're gonna come on over here uh, cover that for us um, and we're still waiting on this invasion as well which is another great reason to have our fleet coming over here I already sent them over there we'll leave these 10 submarines here uh, they don't need to leave uh, we'll have 10 submarines here and 10 submarines up north they're obviously not gonna do much obviously so um yeah uh what we'll do is take a look at our fleets figure out uh how they're looking um i don't think we're gonna be able to have uh two separate fleets guys because uh, if we merge these and then we separate all of the submarines create a little submarine fleet then that leaves 71 ships here that is not a lot I mean, that's a lot for one fleet, I suppose. And I think that this is how we're going to have to do it. This is what the fleet's going to have to look like, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. Do we have... Yeah, it looks like they have a penalty there. We have to get those submarines out. Um, and we'll give him our best com commander. I know that he's a sea wolf, uh, so he'd be better again for submarines. Um, but you know what, guys? We don't really... Yeah, I don't really see us using, uh, using him for submarines. I mean, I suppose we can put him in one of the submarine fleets and use this level 3 guy. It's fine, I suppose. I know the submarines aren't really all that useful, uh, and they're probably all going to die soon. But we'll do it, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and do it. We'll give him the commander here. These submarines probably won't last that long any damn ways. Uh, and then we'll give this other submarine fleet uh, the last guy. And that's our fleet. Um, and I think we're just going to have to rock it with what we have here. Um, yeah, they're, they're fairly large, though, so I don't know if they're going to be able to fit in any of our current uh, naval bases. What we'll have to do is we'll want to move these guys over to this naval base. We'll move them over there now and then see if a level eight can hold them. Uh, yeah, we might need to build up a naval base in order to fit all those ships. Uh, it might just be one too many. Yes, it is one too many. All right, so that's unfortunate. Um, and yeah, we don't have any level 10 naval bases anywhere that I'm seeing. Uh, so no matter what, they're gonna get a penalty. Okay, well, we could split them just to repair them if they need once they need repairs, or we could just build this up real quick, um, build this naval base up. Uh, we'd also want to build that one up as well, uh, so we can fit more there. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and build them, build it up here. Let's see if we can't get. What do they need? What level do they need? Uh, do they need nine or do they need ten? Oh, they need to get it at ten. Okay, uh, that's one of the things about having a large fleet here. But I think they should all be in their same uh, fleet, and then we'll have them protect this. Uh, and then they'll come down here to the south and help out. Uh, and then we'll have these submarines just do convoy raiding. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, play some naval bombers. How many naval bombers do we have? Uh, we currently have 130. So let's do two wings of 50 is what I'm thinking for right now. Um, we'll do 50 here. Naval bombers, nine. There we go. Uh, let's do 50 right there. And then we're going to do... Uh, 50 up here somewhere. Where would be the best way to have them? In the English Channel or the Bay of Biscay? Uh, well, I think, I mean, the English Channel has a lot of traffic traditionally, but yeah, I don't think the Allies are going to be using that much. Um, in fact, it might be better to be helping out here in the south because this is most likely where they're going to be at. Yeah, and instead help out here. Yeah, that makes far more sense. Let's go ahead and place, well, we can't place them in, in Roma, that's right. We'd have to place them up here. Um, yeah, we don't have access to that one either. 
All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and place those those uh, 50 over here instead. I think that'd be the better location for us to go. Oops, I don't want to assign them there just yet. You know what, it's fine if they get assigned there. They don't have a mission. We're going to have them assigned there too. All right, excellent. So we're going to be joining the war very, very soon, guys. Um, very, very soon. I kind of want to get this invasion done, though. I'm really tempted to have the invasion finished up. Though we do have a fleet to cover them, so that'll probably be fine. Um, yeah, you know what, guys? I think this will work out nicely. And I'm not going to assign these guys just yet, but let's go ahead and stop them from training any further for right now. All right. Uh, and let's go ahead and join the conflict. Um, it sucks I can't really help in here, uh, but you know what? It's fine. Let's see if uh, the Brits will allow us to join. I'm sure they will. Uh, recl reclamation of the home islands. Yes, sir. Let's join it. We're joining the war against the Entente, guys. So that's going to place us at war with a lot of countries, as you guys can see here. Um... We could see some invasions possibly over here. It looks like there's also a little, little location here. Um, they might need to wrap up. I don't know if they're going to have any troops here. Um, yeah, we could end up seeing invasions all across this region. We'll just have to see, guys. But I don't really want to pull troops off of these if I don't have to. Uh, could do an invasion right there just to get that wrapped up. Um, that's an option. I suppose we can pull these two, two, two divisions off of here uh, to get that wrapped up. Um, but yeah, really what I'm focusing on now is let's get the Navy uh, one, the Naval War one. Let's go and have our Naval Strikes here. And yeah, we have this very large fleet. I don't even know if they'll be able to take take them out. It really just, it's hard to tell. Let's do search and destroy throughout these regions here and get them out there. Um, it would be lovely to have more planes out here to help our fleet. We'll just see how they end up doing. Uh, hopefully they do well. All right, so we are looking at... Um, where are we at here? 40 of 49 days. Germany suppresses its French population. Soon our time shall come that gains us political power and manpower. Nice. Um, and already, there's a naval battle here. Uh, looks like it was against, um, so the Italians against, is this Sardinia? I think. So yeah, it's Sardinia's flag. Okay, so these are a Sardinia battleship, a light cruiser, and 13 destroyers. They lost, the Italians lost two battleships to four destroyers and two light cruisers. Kind of hard to say who won there. Uh, I, it looks like the, uh, the the Italians lost. Yeah, they lost two battleships. That's really what matters. So yeah, yeah the Italians definitely lost that one. Uh, I don't think our planes were able, able to help yet. Oh, well, they wouldn't have gotten that if we hadn't helped. Um, are we bombing here? We should be helping bombing here. Um, yes. Uh, so we should be helping them out. Hopefully getting the French destroyed there. The Italians look like they have completely lost here um, in the sea. So that's really unfortunate. That kind of leaves our own uh, ships out here to do their thing alone. We can go ahead and put the, the submarines out there. I'm not going to put them down here in the south because they'll just get sunk really quick. Uh, we'll do some convoy raiding. I don't know who exactly we're going to be raiding. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do some. Uh, see if there's any raiding we can do. Who are these? Uh, we'll just do these two regions since we have cease and we have air support here. I'm not going to do it there. Uh, so they'll get out there. They'll do some convoy raiding. Maybe they'll sink a convoy or two. Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, so where are we at? 45 of 49 days. Come on, guys. Get it done. We're just going to decrease this down to speed three as well since we are in a conflict. And I'm following all these naval attacks here. Really want to continue making sure we know what's going on with these. Um, and hopefully... We don't see any naval invasions. We do have naval combat going on. Ooh, okay. Here's a big battle, guys. This is a big old battle here. Um, yeah, quite the battle. This is the Commonwealth of Canada versus the Union of Britain. Should be able to win this conflict since we have both our ships and their ships over here. We should be able to get a nice win. Uh, the Canadians currently have, just taking a look at their navy, they currently have 58 to 68 ships. They've taken some casualties there. Uh, there is a non-aggression pact with the Iberian Federation. We are, of course, going to accept that. They look like they might be able to conquer Portugal. I don't know. That's the way it kind of looks like it's going on right now. Uh, we're currently... Uh, 47, 49 days, and I'm taking a look at that because I want to watch this conflict here, uh, this naval battle. I'm really interested to see how it ends up developing here, but I also want to make sure that we don't miss any days out on that. Okay, uh, looks like it finished up. Let's see what happened. Uh, we did sink a Canadian battleship. All right, fantastic news. Uh, lost some planes in that process, but yeah, very good. Happy about that. Uh, and we are ready to do our naval invasion, so let's execute it. Uh, let's make this happen, and hopefully they succeed. Um, that's all we can really hope. We can modify our government now. Uh, we should probably get a chief of the Navy since we're really focusing on the naval aspect of the conflict right now. Well, we do need to change up our mobilization as well. Okay, changing over to war economy is definitely necessary. But man, this is where the naval conflict starts, you know what I mean? So, yeah, if we don't get 
the bonus is now, then they're not going to be useful later. Well, it's fine. I, I think we, I think you, we should probably get the war economy first. That's obviously pretty useful to have. Um, so let's go and do that, guys. Yeah, we're going to go and tick this up. Uh, and it doesn't cost the full political power that we have. It's only 100. Uh, and then that's obviously going to allow us to make use of a lot more of our factories to continue building up these fortifications here, um, trying to get this done so that we can now start working on um, factories again. And then also probably some dockyards as well. All right, so hopefully they succeed there. We do have a naval battle here in the Bay of Biscay. This is probably our, yeah, this is probably our fleet getting involved here. Um, so far, three submarines have been lost on our side. Um, this is the West Indies Federation. They do have some some planes, or uh, they do have some ships and planes over here. So uh, hopefully our ship fleet gets over here and gets us a victory. We've already sunk one of their destroyers. We'll just see what happens there. Looks like we are going to lose. Did we ever send our, did our planes get over here? I know we sent planes. Where are they at? Um, did we get them flying overhead? I'm pretty sure we did. Um, just taking a look here. Yeah, they're flying overhead. Uh, can they actually reach there? <sighs> just barely. They might not be getting as many bonuses as I'd like. I'd love to get the fleet over there, so I think maybe that might help us. So let's go ahead and do that. Although they're currently in battle, so that's not going to work. Never mind. We have to finish up this battle first before we can move them over there to assist. Yeah, I really wanted to get Ireland wrapped up, guys, but I don't think it's going to happen just yet. Yeah. That's, un that's unfortunate. Uh, Western approaches. Yeah, we also have that Bay of, Bic Bis Bay of Biscay here. Um, so our fleet's kind of working on two separate things. Trying to get these guys wrapped up here. Um, overall, a lot of naval conflicts. That's really what's happening right now. Uh, so we sunk a destroyer. We lost three submarines. I expected those to get lost pretty early, guys. So not really all that surprising. Did finish a destroyer here. Uh, so probably going to want to get... There we go. Naval battle. Nice. Right, so we sunk of the Canadians here. We sunk their battle cruiser, a heavy cruiser, one light cruiser, and two destroyers. So that is a win. Um, and that means we're probably going to come get involved in this next. So we still can't move our fleet just yet. Uh, over here to assist. I don't think that this is gonna work guys Okay, so let's just go ahead and have the army pull it back um, the Navy pull back. Excuse me um, Let's have them stop their attack. I don't know why they don't go back to the fleet of origin man. go back to the fleet You're going to in the first fucking place or where you launched from I know that they just read it as let's go to the, the fleet the or the port I mean I said fleet. Let's just go to the port that is closest um so the Russians have declared war on the Mongolian Khanate. Okay, interesting. A lot of stuff happening, guys. Uh, so yeah, that's going to put them at the work here with the Mongolian Khanate. That's going to put them at war with all their puppets as well, uh, as well as the Turkestan Khanate as well. Okay, that was a lot of as wells there. Sorry about that. So Germany bans French organizations. In response to the increasing self-assurance and revolutionary spirit of the commune, the pathetic German leadership has instituted a harsh policy of cracking down on any organizations funded by us or related to French culture or politics in any manner. These discriminatory actions aimed against the struggling French minority within Germany, particularly in our occupied regions of Nancy and Alsace, are absolutely intolerable. This shall not stand, uh, this shall not stand to war, so that would declare war on them immediately, obviously not what we want to do right now. We're in war with the Entente. I'd love to get the Entente wrapped up before we went to war, at least partially defeated. Uh, assist French resistance groups. This will bring us political power, but cost us manpower. Uh, publicly condemn German actions. Uh, this will give them an event. We should avoid entanglements at this stage. Um, well, I want to do both of these. Why can't I do both? Why can't I say I'm going to assist French resistance groups and publicly condemn them? Uh, we can't do that, so let's support French resistance groups. Try and help them out. A little cost of manpower, get some political power. Uh, all useful stuff. Um, so you guys need to get back onto sure. this front here. And they'll start heading over there soon. Okay, we could also go ahead and send this army here. Yeah, go ahead and go over there. Uh, maybe having another army will be just what we need. Uh, still short on some equipment here. But we can start building some divisions, guys. Regular divisions. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's build. They're only short on anti-tanks right now. So let's go ahead and build some regular divisions, guys. Uh, and that will make us short on support equipment, too. But that's okay. And let's play some... Well, we don't have a training army anymore, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so we'll build up some more infantry divisions. I think that'd be helpful getting those guys uh, training. Um, and just taking a look at the naval battle. Where's the naval battle? Right here. Another big naval battle already sunk a battleship over here. Just trying to get the Entente fleet destroyed. Uh, and yeah, this this here, we're going to have to wait until our organization gets up. I would love to be able to get my fleet assisting this time. So we might wait until they're not in battle uh, before we send this. So we can actually get some, some shore bombardment bonus. I think that's going to be needed because clearly we're not going to be able to win on our own. Um, you know what? Play, bringing these guys closer 
would in fact be far more helpful. Um, yeah, because I don't know that we were getting close air support on that attack, because I don't know that the close air support was reaching. I don't know if that was fighters or close air support that weren't reaching. Uh, just taking a look here. It looks like it was, yes, it was the close air support that wasn't reaching. So we got no close air support in that um, attack. So this could turn it around for us, uh, having close air support. First, we need to get our organizations up here for all these divisions. That's gonna take a little while. Uh, also waiting on that mountain troop. Looks like we finished up a battle here, sunk two destroyers, shot down some planes as well. Uh, what happened over here? It looks like we're just attempting to help bomb over here. Um, but yeah, pretty much it's it's been difficult here because um, we don't have our fleet down there just yet. Uh, also, there's been an invasion here, so that's pretty bad. The Spanish are, are the front line right now uh, for this conflict, so I'm, I'm pretty worried about them overall. Um, we want to help them out. They're not part of the faction, unfortunately, that we can't ask them to join. We have to wait for them to do their uh, national focus to join. Um, and the, King, the Kingdom of Ukraine just declared war on the King of Ukraine. So they have a, another civil war going on over here. Okay, just taking a look at the situation here. This is the Socialist Republic of Ukraine uh, attempting to go against the Kingdom of Ukraine. Okay, um, that probably get wrapped up kind of quick if I had to guess. We'll just have to see. Uh, so, a lot of uh, submarines over here. Uh, British submarines sinking some convoys that are going through there. Uh, and I think we're ready. Let's attempt another attack here, though. It looks like we're in battle again, so I'm going to have to pull it back. Yeah, we're going to have to wait. We're going to just have to wait until this battle finishes. Uh, once it's done, we got no battles going. Uh, then we will send them. I do want to get as many of those ships destroyed as possible, though. So there we go. Oh, wait a minute. We're in another battle. Never mind. <laughs> so we're back into the battle. Uh, trying to get. We need to get these carriers sunk. Five carriers are out there. Um, and now it's moved on over to here. All right. And yeah, we can't do anything with this until. Because I feel like we have to have the support of our fleet. Because otherwise, it's just not going to work, uh, honestly. All right. So big, big battle here. Um. I know it doesn't look like big because it's only 18 ships, but it's the carriers, so that's why I say big battle. All right, so we're we're ready now. Let's go and grab our, our fleet up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just place them right there. Um, we need to tell them to hold, though. Uh, come on over here and give us some support, guys. All right, so they're going to come over here, and then we're going to go ahead and launch this invasion. Let's get it going. Uh, hopefully with now one extra division and the support of our close air support planes and our fleet, hopefully that will be enough, guys. That's really... Uh, all we can do at the moment to get this to be a win. I hate that so many of our fucking uh, units here are tied down here. Uh, it's unfortunate. That is now looking like a victory. Well, never mind. It ticked over again. All right. Um, it seems that they have air superiority, so that's costing us, guys. Okay. Hmm. No, no, no. Was I looking at the wrong one? Because we should have air superiority. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have air superiority. Okay, we got the decryption advantage as well. They're getting bombarded. It's still not enough, though. Just not enough. Damn. We'll have to see if that ticks over. We did get concentrated industry, though. Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, advanced machine tools. We have a bonus for this, too. We're getting it from Indo-Chinese Union. Oh, interesting. So they're part of... So the Indo-Chinese Union is part of our, um, our research group. However, they're just not part of the faction. Can you see research groups? Because um, that's something that was added a while ago, and I, I still don't actually know if you can see research groups anywhere over here. It looks like that's a no. I know there's going to be somewhere. Maybe in the research, you'd assume? Yeah, it'd have to be here. Um, I'm not really seeing it. It's a limited technology bonus we have. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. I, I could have swore that there was a way to see who was in your, your tech region and, or your tech group, and I just don't remember. Uh, another battle over here. Uh, looks like 10 light cruisers have been sunk, three destroyers, uh, at the cost of only one Italian destroyer. That's not a bad cost at all, guys. Not bad at all. It looks like there's also some invasions going on over here. Perhaps Italy's invading the Kingdom of Spain uh, in Corsica. Um, so, yeah, a lot of stuff happening across here. Okay, so we're going to lose this. It might tick over, guys. It could very well tick over. Um, what I think we gonna need to do, in fact, let's go ahead and take our fighters. Uh, there's nope, there's not enough to even warrant sending them. Never mind. I forgot. We're still pretty short on the uh, aircraft carrier um, planes. That is actually a, yeah, really bad. Um, we need to probably do something about that. Uh, try and get more aircraft um, carrier planes out there. Uh, so 
I want to go ahead and continue down this, get that Speed Colt. Uh, this is one plus research bonus for the mechanized models, and we gain the National Spirit Speed Colt, which grants division speed plus 10%. Our divisions are going to be so fast, guys. They're going to be remarkably fast. Um, this is going to be a huge advantage for us. We're going to be able to just race through territories. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, so construction, we just finished that up. Let's get the excavation three. I think that would be helpful, especially given the fact that we have so many uh, resources uh, that people are trading for. So having more of those would be nice. Uh, we're going to lose this. They, they moved another division over there. God damn it, man. I just don't think we're going to be able to win here, guys. It feels like we're just wasting time. Yeah, I mean, I did everything we could, and it's it's not a victory. Uh, they just have too many divisions here. Damn it. Uh, the Russian state just declared war on the Turkestan Khanate. All right, yeah, lots of conflict going on over there. Uh, we did finish this up here, our uh, artillery, so let's go ahead and get anti-tanks next. I think that'd be helpful to have. Uh, that means we need to upgrade these guys. Change that up a bit. And who's getting hurt by... It just looks like just the convoys are being hurt right now by not having the oil. Okay. I don't see anybody else that's really having problems. Yeah, just the convoys. Obviously, we do want to build up those convoys, but yeah, I'm not willing to trade for that right now. We need as many civilian factories as we can get. I'm trying to get those, uh, get these forts built, man. I'm trying to get it finished up over here. Just taking a look at the uh, uh, war here and the seas, seeing if uh, anything we need to be aware of. Yeah, this is, this is not going to work. So what we're going to do, guys, let's stop it again because it's not going to work. There's no reason to continue an attack that clearly is ineffective. Let's bring them on back, and this fleet here, let's get them back out there uh, helping out uh, in this conflict here. And we're going to have them cover all three of these this time. Uh, so yeah, just really unfortunate, guys. Uh, we cannot win against the Irish. Uh, severe problems with that, and I feel like we should be helping out somewhere else, so I'm really tempted to just take this Yellow Army and then move them on down here uh, to help out against Portugal, because that's a massive conflict there, and I think we are going to do that, in fact. Yes, uh, I think that's the best option for us. It looks like the Kingdom of Ukraine did win, as expected. Not surprising at all, guys. All right, we do have air experience as well, so let's go ahead and spend that. I think that'd be useful to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tick up these fighters here, uh, get them fully, uh, although 1940 is coming soon. Well, you know what? Let's do, let's do close air support, guys. Um, yeah, I think that'd be useful. Uh, get the close air support. Um, get them built out here. Just make them a little bit better, because the first thing we're going to research is fighters. Uh, so let's do close air support. Take them, their reliability up. Let's get these up like so, and there we go. All right, that'll work out nicely. Let's go ahead and decommission those and just get those ones building. Uh, and then we also got a destroyer sunk there, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and change priorities here, guys. Clearly this is not gonna work. We're not gonna be able to defeat them. Uh, it's re requiring too many resources from us at the moment. Uh, so I really want to come and help out over here. So let, let's go ahead and get our troops going into Normandy. Um, we could actually bring them down here as well. We'll bring them down here, I suppose. Uh, well, it looks like they're already moving. Can we move them again? We cannot. All right, so they're going to go into Normandy. And I think we're going to actually change this up just a little bit and get some of our tanks going into this yellow army here uh, because, obviously, it, that makes sense. Like, we can move this red army tank um, over there. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, move the red army tank. He's going to uh, go into that yellow army. And we'll move on these yellow armies to re uh, divisions to replace them. And then with the uh, blue army here... Um, we're probably going to move... How many tanks do we have in this blue army? We have four. Or five, excuse me. We have five tanks. Uh, and he can get something, but nothing good. Uh, so we have five tanks over here. I think we'll move one tank division uh, out of there and into this army here. Uh, I think that would be helpful. You know what would also be helpful? Is probably getting some more mountain troops. Um, do we have any? No, we do not. We only have one, and that's in the red army. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Let's go and get the one red army tank into the yellow army, uh, and then one blue army tank also into the yellow army, uh, and then take these yellow army troops, just a couple of them here, uh, and get them moving over to that front there. Uh, let's do let's do one of these experienced ones and one regular one. Go into the blue army, please. Uh, no, 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 wait a minute. That was too many. Go into the red army. There we go. Uh, excellent. And then with the yellow army, let's see... If we can get access, they should give us access. I don't see why they want it. Um, ask for military access. They will accept. Uh, and then we're going to move them Bye. into Spain to help out. Uh, just right here. And conquer that if it's not already done by the time we get there. Get our troops moving on over there um, to help out. Uh, let's take a look what's going on over here. we got a light cruiser sunk. This is where we're going to focus our navy. Um, let's get the all the, the Entente fleets... Uh, up here in the north destroyed first and then we'll move down here to the south for right now We'll just focus on using our planes in that area 
Uh, and this might be wrapped up by the time we get there. It looks like it will be. Okay, well, that's that's fine. Uh, so, as soon as you guys get there, we'll get you guys wrapping this up. Go and attack there. Don't do not do that. Don't do that, dog. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, yeah, so these guys are going to wipe that out for us. Uh, just try and get these uh, troops here destroyed. This is the Kingdom of France, so we get to already do some damage to them, which is awesome. Um, and we actually don't want them to leave there. Uh, but they still have a bit of time before they get there. Uh, so let's just wait until we get our troops over here. Uh, and we'll also wrap up this territory here as well. Uh, and we probably don't need all these divisions coming over this direction, but that's okay. Uh, when do they get there? When, 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 all right, we don't want them to, to leave. Let's go and attack with these troops here. And we're going to send a tank unit in there to assist them. And you guys here. Oh, damn. You guys are going to come over to this front here. I don't know what's going on there, but let's help out. Uh, right. And this unit here is also going to go over to that front. Get over there, men. Uh, and this is already wrapped up. Go so we're going to have that tank go over there. Let's go ahead and move these guys. Um, in fact, I also want to come over here and see what's going on in Madrid. Um, oops, my bad. Let's just delete this. Uh, over here to Madrid. Uh, you guys and a tank as well. This guy will come over there next after he finishes this up. All right, come on over here. Make sure that we hold Madrid. We can't have the Spanish capitulating on us. That'd be pretty bad overall. Um, so, yeah, the Portuguese are advancing. I'm guessing the Entente uh, has sent a lot of troops over here, and that's the reason why they're advancing. It's probably very good that we came over here, because I don't think Spain would have held out much longer, guys. Uh, so probably a pretty good idea that we, we are sending troops over here. Um, I just want to take a look at where they at. They're 36% towards capitulation. So we do have time. Uh, but, yeah, you see a lot of troops here, a lot of Canadian troops um, coming over here. Uh, so obviously getting our troops over here is, is incredibly important. Uh, let's go ahead and send these guys over here. I need more troops here if you're not already. Um, I know that we have four assigned here. That's probably good for right now. Uh, and nice. More political power. It's always good to have. We'll be able to change something here momentarily. Uh, so let's get Madrid right, wiped out. Let's go ahead and make sure that guy goes over there and takes that. Let's get Toledo with this division here just because it's open. Uh, and we'll probably send that tank over there as well. Probably going to split our armies. It's not the best way to do this, but right now we've got to stop some of these attacks here because things are, are not great. Let's go and have that division come over here. We're going to bring this one over here and attack the uh, cavalry troops that are right there. And uh, see if we can't, can't do something here. Can't make something happen. Um, so he's going to take that because that's a key uh, city there. We're going to have this unit. You know, we're going to have him just stay there, actually. Uh, we're going to have this unit come over here and see what we can't make happen. Um, all these troops that are currently leaving um, from here, I want you guys to actually come down here and assist. Uh, let's do four and four for right now. Uh, splitting the army, like I said, is, is really not the best option at the moment, um, but I, I need to do it because I need to stop some of this. This is getting crazy. Uh, they're not going to hold out much longer if we don't, don't help out. Let's see if we can't get these troops here cut off and destroyed. Uh, we're going to bring them over like that so that they'll stay here. For right now and uh let's get this area here wiped out and it looks like we're gonna have some difficulty because of this division here when does he get there 23 hours he's gonna get there fairly quickly uh one day one hour for ourselves okay hmm how long does it take for him to get there he's super super quick he could probably actually come back by the time yeah <laughs> we can come back by the time we get this done uh let's go ahead and we don't want them reconnecting this when would he get there if he was to move 15 hours. That might be enough time. Attention. Let's go and wipe these troops out. Yeah, that might be just enough time, guys. We're going to wipe those guys out as well, or attempt to. Uh, and hopefully this works out. Um, hopefully this guy gets here. It looks like somebody's attacking him, so it's fine. All right, lovely. Uh, let's go ahead and grab up this area here with this division, and we're going to attack that way with this guy. Let's try and get all this territory here wrapped up. Just really kicking their ass right now. Uh, destroying some Canadian troops. Uh, pretty big victories here, helping us out. Let me just take a look. I want to see how many troops the Canadians have. They have 48 to 84. King of France, 16 to 22. They're actually pretty weak overall. I'm going to guess they lost a few divisions in that those attacks over there. Uh, because clearly they have a lot less divisions than I would think they would have. Let's go and get these guys wiped out. Um, yeah, this is going to be tremendously helpful. This is like, uh, what, like five or six divisions total that we wiped out here. Attention. All right, so you guys can come over here. Come help us out there. Uh, also, we're not really controlling troops over here, so let's go ahead and make sure we continue advancing. Let's just take that one for right now. And uh, where's that fourth division? How many are here? Only two there. All right, I'm missing a division somewhere. 
Not entirely sure where they're at. I think I actually used Fine. them for something, and that's what they're doing. Let's go and grab that province, because uh, that's a victory point right there. So we're going to want to grab that. It's not worth a lot, but it's worth some. So we're going to have these guys continue down the port here uh, and get these ports. And then we're going to have this division Fine. here wipe these two out. All right, excellent. Uh, currently defending there, um, this division here, having to do, go ahead and come on over here and hopefully stop these cavalry troops. Probably not going to happen, but that's all right. These guys are going to take that. These guys need to come back over to their front down here. Um, although, I would prefer to focus over here, actually. So let's go and have them come over here uh, and get another division helping us out here. Uh, and you guys are also going to be assigned to this front. And let's have them Bye. attempt hmm, to reconnect this territory here. They're so quick. They're lightning quick. Uh, so we might be able to get those cavalry troops there cut off though. We're currently defending so yeah, not really able to do that just yet All right, well, that's fine. I um, I love all our speed bonuses that we're getting super sure. helpful Let's go and attack over this way uh, Yeah, we were just able to move so fast. We also can make an adjustment here. So let's go ahead and do that uh, I like I said, I, I want to go with chief and Navy uh, a lot of different choices here uh, dis Decisive battle doctrine that's capital ship and naval AA attack Indirect uh, approach, those are convoys and submarines, um, amphibious invasion speed, well that would be pretty helpful. Uh, special forces, trade convoys, all nice there. Um, trying to see one that we haven't seen yet. Uh, indirect approach right now, open seas, that's the screens, so destroyers and light cruisers. And we also have our, our ships will be faster. Those are open sea, power projection, this is naval max range factor and sortie efficiency. Okay. Um, I think we're going to go with dec decisive battle, guys. I think they're probably the best thing to get right now. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so we have, how many deci decisive battle do uh, doctrine guys do we got? Uh, we got Pierre Richard. Uh, we have, of course, this guy here. Is there any other ones? Not seeing it. All right, uh, I'm going to go with Pierre. So that'll make our ca uh, capital ships better uh, right from the get-go. So it's going to be very nice. Uh, so we are, we did fail in that attack there. Um, what I'm going to do is get this light tank moving down here and then have him attack there and see if he can't win by himself. He should be able to. We're going to push over that way as well. We only have three divisions this this direction. That's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, move that division over this way. See if we can't race down here and cut these guys off. Um, although there is that area there. We're just going to see what we can do, guys, uh, with the few divisions that we have here. Um, and we're going to assist. No, no, no. We don't need to assist that. Uh, let's instead... Can we get a win there? We could. All right, this is actually, could get a win there. But yeah, there's like really not much that we can do there. All right, let's take a look at the situation up here. Uh, let's continue, let's take that province right there because we can easily cut those guys off. Uh, let's go ahead and attempt to close those, that, they're already knocking that out for us, excellent. Um, let's attack over here. We're about to cut all these divisions off. Let's attack those guys there. Uh, and then with this division here, I think we're gonna attempt to I just want to continue cutting troops off. Let's see if we can't take that port right there with this division. We'll see. See if we can't make that happen. Um, and attacking there, we're about to lose that attack, so let's just go ahead and cancel that. Clearly not going to win. Maybe we can get that division right there cut off. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, is there any other naval battles or anything we need to be aware of? Anything I want to pay attention to? Also, we have this fleet here. If Yeah, these guys could clearly uh, use another destroyer. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and combine those two. Get the destroyer going over there and helping them. There'll be 72 ships now. Uh, how are we doing on building stuff? Okay, still working on getting all those damn forts built. Just sucks we have to spend, you know, time building those. Let's see if we can't get these guys cut off here. Um, still winning that attack, so we'll go ahead and continue it. Uh, and then once we do get them cut off, we'll use this one division here to wrap them up. Uh, let's take a look at the situation over here. About to get those guys cut off. Excellent. They are now cut off. Fantastic news. But they're about to grab port, so let's attack them there. Doesn't look like that's going to be a victory, unfortunately. Um, these guys are not in a good position. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of... They're going to need a bit of assistance here, I think. Let's go ahead and have you guys attack up this way. Try and get this wrapped up here. We're going to go ahead and attack over here as well so we can support this attack here. Uh, and then you guys are going to attack right there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, damn, they're about to get out. All right. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't matter if they take one province. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, now we can attack, actually. Attack them. All right. Excellent. So we've done that. Uh, they've been reconnected. That's really, really, really unfortunate. Um, let's go ahead and attack over this way so we can finish that up. Let's go and attack these guys as well. Uh, and so we can finish this up here and then hopefully 
get that before them. Probably not, though, because they're cow. Oh, we will get there before them. All right, excellent. Try and get those divisions destroyed there. Uh, this guy's just kind of holding out here uh, because I'm trying to march over there and grab that uh, city of Porto. What can we do here? Um, damn, they got out. That's unfortunate. All right, well, let's go ahead and grab that province up there. And let's see if we can't grab that province right there. And let's actually give them a little front here. Oops, not the whole one. My bad. Just a little front here. And have these guys march over there and attempt to cut all the divisions off from over here. Just break them apart, separate them. See if we can't make that happen. Um, I'd love to get this tank unit over here cutting this off, but let's just wait, see what happens over here. Uh, trying to get this wrapped up. Um, there we go, overran those troops, excellent news. Uh, let's go ahead and have you guys support that attack. Try and get these guys wiped out here. Just trying to wrap this up. We're having a lot of difficulty because of how many, uh, how wide the front is and we just don't have the divisions at the moment uh, to support this. All right, so these guys are not succeeding in their attacks here. Uh, where are the fucking Spanish, man? <laughs> it feels like I'm doing this all by myself at the moment, guys. Uh, they're just not, like, uh, doing a whole lot here. Um, let's see if we can't win an attack right there. And then what we'll do is let's wrap that up as well. Yeah, it just feels like I'm fighting over here by myself. Like, where are the Spaniards? Uh, do they have any divisions left? They have 20 to 23 divisions. All right, maybe they're fighting down here. Yeah, it's got to be where they're at. There's nowhere else they could be. Um, damn it, man. They're about to reconnect these guys. Écoutez. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Fucking us up here, guys. Alright, so we're gonna get this division over here so he can at least support Écoutez. an attack. Um, God damn it, they got reconnected here anyways. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Alright, let's focus on one attack at a time then, because clearly we're having issues. Uh, so you guys attack over here, finish this up. We're gonna try and get this guy over here to cut those guys off once they move over there. See if we can't make that happen. I hate that this light tank's just sitting here not doing anything. Um, but yeah, I don't think he, he can... Well, he could cut off... What if we just went down that way and cut off all this frontier? And whoever's there will, you know, be cut off. Uh, we'll see, guys. Um, this guy needs to be on this front. Uh, get this wrapped up for us. Uh, you guys come on over here, and then you guys come over this way for me. All right, so they're going to attempt to cut all the divisions off over here. Oh, wow, a lot of troops over here. Not happy about us doing this. <laughs> this guy's about to cut us off. All right, that didn't work so well. Um, that did not work well at all. All right, let's go back. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Um, can he get there in time? When does he get there? He gets there in nine hours to his first attack. And we will attack those cavalry troops just to make sure that we can get our tanks out. Because that did not work well. Uh, that went very poor. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and stop this attack. Clearly, it's not what we want to do. Well, we'll move these guys back first. All right, go ahead and stop that attack. Ah, that did not go well. That went very poorly. Go ahead and have this guy come over here and grab that province. Uh, we'll go and attack over that way as well. And we'll grab that too. Alright, see if I uh, can't turn this, this around here. Just having a lot of difficulty uh, in this conflict. Our troops here did get cut off. That's very, very unfortunate. All of our troops got cut off. Okay. Um, Alright, well, let's try and reconnect them all then. Uh, those tanks are so fast they should be able to get there in time, hopefully, unless they get attacked. Um, yeah, overall, just having some difficulty here. All right, you guys are moving over there as well. Not watching them is what's uh, causing the problems. So we did get these guys uh, cut off here, so let's try and get them destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and continue with these mountain troops as well, though once again, they're probably going to get cut off if I don't watch them. Um, what I'd love to do is just race across this territory here, if possible, and cut off any troops that are here. We'll see. See if we can't make it happen. I should have focused all my troops in one area, but I was really worried about uh, them losing, so I didn't. Let's let's do that though because clearly we're having some issues here. Uh, let's focus on taking this area over up here first. So you guys go head on over there, get out of here. Um, I don't know why that guy decided to take that route, but he did. <laughs> so he's winning. So we're gonna allow him to continue. We got more infantry. Uh, we got our better infantry equipment. We're gonna have to start producing those. Uh, we're not close enough in 1940 to work on any of that stuff just yet. Could work on our special forces. However, this one's not very good, and it's very expensive. Um, I mean, it's normal expensive, but I mean, it's it's 164 days. We don't have any bonuses towards it, what I'm trying to say. Uh, and, yeah, there's really no point because we can't get these until 1940, and these are the ones that have the benefits. This one's just the acclimation. It's just not that... Not that useful. It's useful, but it's not useful enough to be spending 164 days on it. Uh, we got a nice bonus for that one. Research bonus for those light tanks. Uh, so, 
that we'll get that really quick but of course that's not until 1941 uh still working on everything over here we got to get our land doctrines i think that's probably what we're going to continue working on guys i think that'll probably be the best option for us right now yeah let's do let's do land doctrines uh so we have the choice between blitzkrieg or mobile infantry um I don't think they've, I don't know if they changed the bonuses to, to all these, um, but of course the mobile infantry is going to be motorized and mechanized, uh, infantry recovery rate and speed, um, all organizations get, get all infantry and motorized get organization, and then of course more bonuses for the mechanized motorized. If we wanted to continue with the tanks here though, yeah, that'd be pretty useful to do, um, because we, like I said, I really do want to focus on tanks a lot, um, so I think that's what we're going to do. Let's get the tanks, uh, the tank one. And that's going to get those tanks, their breakthrough, and the organization up. Quite helpful indeed, guys. Uh, so these guys are going to attempt to destroy this one uh, Canadian division. This guy's going to advance over here. Um, and I don't know what the hell these guys are going to do. Looks like they're trying to march all the way up there. I don't think that's going to go well for them. <laughs> Just go and retreat. Uh, although we do want to help hold Madrid. Um, I want to focus on getting this wrapped up over here. Uh, and, in fact, let's go and take both these divisions and assign them to this front so they can get that wrapped up. Uh, and then this tank division, why don't you come on over here and grab Porto. Uh, and then you guys are going to grab that port. And then any divisions that are here are completely cut off. It looks like these guys are actually destroyed already. Excellent. Excellent news. Go ahead and come on over to this front. Come help us out. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We're losing that. Um, I guess we're going to march all the way across this territory. In fact, let's do something different here then. And let's have this division come over this way and start wrapping up territory here. Uh, just trying to take this this over, get them away from uh, Toledo and Madrid, uh, because yeah, we're not doing so well over there. Let's go ahead and take some territory over this way. Uh, these guys are coming over here to help us out. Uh, those guys are gonna wrap that up, and the tank division's having some dip difficulty here, unfortunately. Okay, um, grab that, grab that province for me. Um, and you know what? Go this way instead. Just easier. Uh, and then we're going to have this tank division destroy those guys right there. Too easy. Uh, should have that wrapped up soon. Uh, you guys going to come on over to this front. Um, grab that for us. Just a lot of difficulties uh, for the Spanish right now. Uh, but we're starting to get territory wrapped up. That's what's important. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and have just come over here and march down this territory here. These troops are going to march up this territory here. All these troops are going to go this way. Uh, we don't need to go that far. Go like this. Right there. Just get this finished up, guys. Um, can we win here? Would we win there? Get a victory. No, we would not. All right. So let's go and pull that back. Um, this tank division, go grab that province up for us. Uh, and then you guys come wrap that up for us. And yeah, these guys just marched all the way across here. That was really weird, but whatever. We got territory wrapped up, so that's what's good. Um, and yeah, gonna take all this here, just kind of pushing them back. Let's go and delete this front right here. Don't need, oops. Don't need this going any longer. And go ahead and have these guys assigned to that front. All right, so let's have this front extended. And then you know what? I think we're gonna have this guy come over here real quick. I just wanna see what's going on here. Come over here. See if we can't get this wrapped up. Um, it'd be really nice to use the light tank to do that, in fact. But we only have one light tank. Or we have two light tanks. Hmm. Yeah, we could use the light tank to come over here and just cut that off right there. Uh, but we're not going to do that. It's fine. I don't even know if there's any divisions there, if that's even going to be worth it. Uh, so we're attempting to wrap that up there. We've actually ran into some troubles there. Um, all right. Can we get a win here? We can. All right. Lovely. I think I'm going to go ahead and support that even if it is across a river. Because I want to get that wrapped up so we can get these divisions that are here cut off from supply. Uh, yes, that would be uh, very Hello. lovely. Um, so, there is a we unit there. Let's go ahead and take that province right there, and then let's have this unit come on over here. See if we can't get these guys wrap, wrapped up right here, cut off from supply. Uh, we should have these guys cut off soon, all the divisions that are currently here. Uh, let's go ahead and keep the pressure on them, attack with this division now. Uh, you guys are going to be coming over here, wrapping this up for us. Uh, and it looks like there's more troops over here, so that's unfortunate. They're pumping more divisions up here. That's That sucks. Um, yeah, that's not what I want to see. Let's go ahead and pull this back, this attack. It's clearly not going to work. Uh, let's go ahead and have those guys move over here instead. All right. Let's have you guys come attempt to cut these troops off. See if you can't make that happen. Uh, and you guys attack over there. And we got research finished. We got our medium tanks done. That is very good news. Uh, we don't have the factories to build them, of course. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and... I mean, let me just see here. 
Uh, we got edited, edited equipment for the infantry equipment. Never did do that. Yeah, we just don't have the factories to build anything. I mean, we'll go ahead and get them building. Um, or get them in here, get them online. But, yeah, they don't... We don't have the factories for them. Uh, we currently are short... Well, we could pull from some of the stuff that we have finally built up here. That would probably work here. Uh, so we can start putting at least a couple factories into that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pull back from some of this uh, other equipment here. How are we doing on infantry equipment right now? We're at 5,000. Okay, so probably want to put another couple factories into that right now. Uh, the artillery is currently looking at 194, so might want to put some factories into that as well. Uh, Anti-tanks is looking pretty good as well. Let's go and pull from the anti-tanks. Uh, and... Yeah, we'll keep some into the support. Obviously, want to keep that motorized going as well. Let's go ahead and build some medium tanks up. Uh, the light tanks. Um, what are we actually short right now? We're short light self-propelled artillery. Okay, and then I want to put the rest of those into those planes, guys. I feel like we could really use uh, some planes here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the fighters building up, close air support building up, and the naval uh, bombers. I guess our next, next factory will go towards that. We are now short on oil enough where I'm going to go ahead and trade for it. Uh, we're going to trade with the Americans. Not that much, though. Just that. All right. Excellent. Uh, so that should fix some of the situations we've been having here. Uh, make things a little bit better. Uh, we're going to go ahead and attempt to launch an attack there. Um, and we're going to launch an attack here as well. See if we can't win. Uh, having some difficulty right there in that province, which is quite unfortunate. Um, let's see if we can't, instead of wrapping that up, let's see if we can't win here against this division and have this guy come wrap that up. Okay, yeah, not going to win there. Let's pull it back, guys. Uh, it's clearly not going to work. Let's let m some of those troops move out of here. That's the problem. There's too many troops over there. Uh, currently, could grab that province there, I suppose. We'll go ahead and make that happen. Have these guys advance over here just a little bit, take some of this territory. Uh, we did get these troops here cut off. Let's go ahead and support that attack, get this done with, uh, and then once they come over here, they'll destroy those two divisions that are going to be there, that are cut off from supply. Uh, come on back over here and try and get those guys destroyed. Uh, you guys are going to stay here, uh, and we need to... We'll grab that province. We need to get this taken here, guys. Um, see if we can't win now. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, and plus they're going to have another division there. Yeah, not going to work. All right, just going to pull back. Let some of those guys leave again. Not winning here, um, unfortunately. We're going to have to pull that back, actually. Um, when do they get out of there? It's going to be a while. All right, so we can go ahead and finish this attack up. Uh, and let's have this tank division move over here to kind of help out. Because this division clearly can't do it by himself. We don't have an offensive uh, bonus here, so let's go ahead and do that. Get themselves a planning bonus uh, just throughout this territory here. Uh, we're really close to the capital, though. Try and get Portugal to capitulate. Uh, one of these guys leave here. Do we have time? Uh, and it is just about done with the episode as well. That's unfortunate. Uh, it always ends so quickly, doesn't it, guys? So let's support this attack. Try and get a win there. Push him back just a little bit. Uh, and we're just going to have to wait to... I mean, we might be able to win now. We might only have one. Yeah, they only have one unit there. We're defending here. Uh, let's go ahead and launch an attack there. Uh, and support with those guys. Uh, these guys here, let's attack that way. And yeah, just a lot of difficulty. Uh, we now are able to build some more military factories. Excellent. Very good news. We need them bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and start working on this. Let's get the 90% there. Let's go with that 80% there, 80% there. Uh, and it looks like the rest are all. Oh, we got an 80% there as well. Uh, and then let's do 170% right there. That looks good. Let's focus on military factories, guys. Definitely need those uh, now, uh, as soon as we can get them. All right, so uh, we're going to get that division there wrapped up, destroyed. We're doing pretty good, I think, um, getting units destroyed for the most part. Let's attack here just to stop units from coming over here, just for a little while anyway. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's even going to work. Never mind. We're going to pull that back. Um, try again. Now that the division's pulled out. Let's see if we can't get a win there. Um, this mountain troop isn't really doing anything. Let's move him over here. And currently winning there. I'm going to push those militia back. Winning here as well. Um... But yeah, they just keep on pumping divisions up there, which actually isn't a bad thing. Uh, it's really not. Uh, okay, we're not going to win there. Okay. Um, let's delete that front. I'm done doing what I'm doing over here. And get these guys moving over to this front now. Okay. We need another division here. Let's move this tank over here and see if two tank units can't get it done. Uh, and then this division here is going to come over here to help out locking those units down. Uh, and then we're going to attempt to... we got to lock those units down, too, because yeah, they're going to attempt to leave. What we can do is cut those ones off. Oh, wow, there's a little opening there. All right, uh, and attack. 
All right, so hopefully we'll be able to get the, the province that way. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack here again. They just keep on pumping divisions over there. All right, well, we got Speed Colt, so we are now faster. Look at that. Everybody's going to be faster. Division speed's faster. We can research mechanized models quicker. Um, and now we get the choice between which one of these we want to go. I knew what I was going to go with from the beginning, guys. Um, not production costs. It would be nice to be able to produce armor faster, but I don't want to hurt our reliability and soft attack for that. And I would instead prefer to have better reliability and better soft attack, and it'd be a little bit more expensive. I'm okay with that. Let's go and research that. Um, I think that's going to be helpful uh, for our tanks. So um, we're grabbing this province up. He's there already. That allows us to now attempt to destroy these divisions here. We're going to grab that province as well uh, and see if we can't use them to support that attack. They keep on pumping divisions over here. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's see if we can't have this guy. No, he wouldn't win there. All right, let's go and pull him over there then. And see if we can't uh, actually you guys come over here. <sighs> Got to get this wrapped up. Uh, so what I want to do is support this attack with this uh, division here. This is not going to work. Uh, it looks like they're going to reconnect them as well. Damn, man. Ah. <laughs> All right. That didn't go so well. All right. Let's pull these back. Yeah, it clearly didn't work. Um, and our division's currently cut off right now. He's defending. Um, let's see if we can't. I'm really trying to win there, guys. Uh, having so much difficulty here. Yeah, massive problems uh, trying to get this area wrapped up. We sent all our divisions over here, and they're still having problems. It's just because we're so vastly outnumbered. There are a lot of troops over here. Uh, but yeah, that is actually the end of the episode. Just if you want to see what we did bombing-wise, it looks like we're probably just doing damage um, to some units. Maybe not. Yeah, these are all in damage convoys. Okay. Uh, so just trying to help in any naval battles that happen here. Uh, can't put our, I'm not going to put our submarines out there just yet. I don't think that would be a good idea. But you can see that we do not have control of the seas over here, unfortunately. Uh, but it looks like neither does the Entente. Uh, just taking a look at what everybody's working on. Uh, Germany is currently uh, doing this. This is going to give them more recruitable population. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they have more people to put into their armies. They currently have quite a bit of manpower still. Uh, so getting more is only going to make them even stronger. Uh, looking at them, they're currently doing something. Uh, not entirely sure what this is. I'd love if Russia and Germany would fucking fight each other. That'd be really nice. Uh, where is the thing they are working on? I don't see anywhere. Oh, here we go. Uh, so, okay. Looks like more uh, civilian factories. Uh, looking at the Ottomans, because I'm always curious, they're doing bureaucratic reforms. Uh, the Japanese are currently doing bring down the German Goliath. Oh, wow. Maybe Japan will be helping out in Asia. Yes, uh, they may very well. Well, Siam's not around no more, so, well, they are, but they're a puppet. So I'm not going to be able to do that. We'll just have to see what happens here. Yeah, interesting. Japan's going to go on an expansion run. Uh, Americans are doing working women. Canada's doing the St. Lawrence line. Uh, the Kingdom of France is doing Algerian war industry. And our allies here in Britain are doing local help initiative. I don't know what that does. Okay, some nice little bonuses there. Uh, research bonuses. And the Italians here are currently working on the Cement Congressional Authority. Uh, Austria, by the way, is working on Austrian military economy. Uh, you see they already kind of moved down um, this branch here. This allows them to get better control of all those uh, puppets that they have. All right, but currently they're working on getting more military factories. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave that like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Just taking a look at here. It looks like we just are sinking some convoys here. Uh, very nice. Yeah, that's very good. Uh, still have not gotten into Ireland yet. Ireland has been a stronghold. Uh, the British cannot break into it. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to end it here, and thanks for watching.